Welcome back everyone, today we're going to be doing another Adobe CC Express tutorial, however this time we're on PC. This is going to be a bit of a longer video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this effect on screen right here. This effect contains a lot of elements, a bunch of rectangles. While it might look hard, it's actually not too hard, so I'm going to still keep this. I'm just going to keep this here. So, I'm just going to be creating another text. So, what the text is going to be is it's probably going to be something pretty simple. And to keep this video short, I'm just going to go with the text high. And for the font, we want to match this. So, we are just going to check the font, which is Source Sans Pro Black. With this text, we're just going to drag it to where we want. And the thing that we want is shadow. So we're going to turn that on, obviously change the color to black, and because we have this like 120 degree angle to the right, we're going to go for the exact opposite, so it's going to be minus 135 for this one. And now, here comes the bit of a tedious process. You're going to grab a square or rectangle from the shape section, and you're gonna just start to scale it down to a reasonable height. And make this a bit long, and also set the color to black. You're gonna rotate the bar to about the same angle. It doesn't have to be exact, but it should be telling you the angle as the red lines appear on screen. So you can just Drag this along and just try to match it as well as you can on the text. And you can obviously use the arrow keys to move it around. And obviously we're going to put the order behind text. And now just rinse and repeat. And to make this process a bit faster, the duplicate key is similar to Photoshop. You can just hold Alt and it should be duplicated for you instantly. And yeah, because this is not really well positioned, I'm just going to use the arrow keys to just slightly nudge it across. And that is looking good. And yet, we just rinse and repeat. And yeah, there you go. While this like tiny bit doesn't look good, you can obviously just duplicate one more and just adjust it so it fits. And that looks pretty good. And you can repeat this with as many text layers as you want. And before you do anything else, remember to group it so it doesn't like go everywhere. And that's how you make the 3D effect. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!